A question about adding LinkedIn connections, um, whether you should add people that are very overlapped in their niche with yours. In other words, how direct of your competition should you be adding? Um, you know, so here's my view on competition, really. Most people, uh, sadly, have the traditional view of competition, which is, hey, if I add you and if we're both leadership coaches to, you know, aspiring executives, and if I add you, then someone who's looking at my profile might find you and go with you instead of me. So I don't, I'm not going to add you, right? Traditional view of competition is, well, I'm, I should, I should try to hide all my competitors from all my potential clients, right? Good luck, right? Um, that's traditional. And, and it's understandable. People are, you know, are naturally scarcity minded and fearful just based on our evolution. My view about it is this. Your most uh, productive referral source is going to be your most direct competitor who is collaborative and abundance mind minded. Well, think about it, right? If you and I do exactly the same thing for the exact same people, who has who is getting inquiries all the time who could be my perfect client? You are, okay, right? Because we do exactly the same thing for the same people. So you're going to keep doing your marketing and net caring and uh, getting out there and meeting potential clients, and I'm going to do the same. And inevitably, you're going to find some potential clients who are not the best fit for you. It could be time zone issue, even. It could be um, just because right now, just the, the time of your, you know, right now, you can't take on another client for whatever reason. And if you like me, if you genuinely enjoy my company and my presence, then you're going to be like, you know what? Don't worry. I've got just the right person who can serve you, does something very similar to me, and is just a great person to get to know. Please meet, you know, please meet Liz, you know, something like that, if, if my name were Liz. Um, <laughs> and ver versus, right, you know, that, so that, that's your best referral source, is the person who is like the mirror image of you, uh, who is collaborative and, and abundance-minded. Mind, uh, abundance and there are, they, they are out there. And the question is, how do you vet them, right? That's really, uh, and also, by the way, they are the person who's a mirror image to you in terms of doing the same thing you do with for the same people. Uh, <laughs> they wear the same clothes you do. I mean, the, mo the more the mirror image they are, the better the collaborate, the, the better the referral source potential, but also the better they are as a teacher for you in terms of marketing, because they're going to be doing marketing because they're selling the same thing you are. So they may be doing marketing where you can study and go, oh my gosh, wow, that is either really brilliant, like how come I never thought of doing that or saying it in that way? Or, wow, I hope I don't do that. <laughs> you know, like, like, I hope I don't say it in that way or I don't do that kind of technique. And not, when, you, when you see something you like, I'm not saying you should copy them because some people are really sensitive. I'm not sensitive. I, I always tell people, listen, you can copy my website word for word just don't tell me. <laughs> Even if you tell me, I, I don't care because I'm abundance minded. And I'm like, great, go ahead. That just gives me urgency to create new stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, but some some people are not abundance minded, and you have to be careful not to copy people. You can emulate their style or emulate the idea, the general idea. You could use a ChatGPT to reformulate the idea. Anyway, um, but but some people are really abundance minded, and if you know that, you can you can emulate more of what they do. So. In other words, last you know, bottom line is if you see a mirror person, uh, the perfect competitor to you, um, you I personally love to reach out and go, "Hello, <laughs> you're my you're my soulmate in business." Um, to wondering if you want to you know support each other, learn from each other. Right? We might be able to refer clients to each other. We we can certainly learn from how we're, we're each doing marketing because we're marketing the same people, doing the same thing. So. We can learn from each other's marketing. And if you're open to that, uh, let's chat. And then you know, when you talk to them and you see they genuinely are that kind of person and if they are, great. You should become best friends uh, and refer business to each other and, and you know, so um, and share techniques and things. So hopefully this is helpful and uh, I look forward to seeing your comments below. And, and please spread this message of the benefit of having uh, abundance-minded collaborative 
direct competitors. Spread this message to everywhere you know, because hopefully this opens people's minds and hearts to say, oh my gosh, of course, that makes sense. Your, your, your best partners and your best teachers are your the people who look the, the most similar to you in terms of business niche and audience and everything. So uh, thanks for uh, thanks for watching this.